here we've got the BlackBerry Q10. You can see this is more of that people associate with the traditional BlackBerry device with the traditional keyboard with the frets in between, the nice contoured keys for the optimal typing experience, something that we've been known for for years. Now the BlackBerry Q10, you know, is framed with a nice black metal bound. Oh, that's metal, is it? Yep. Stainless steel. And then you can see the back here, the glass weave, making it a very unique look on the back and very comfortable with the hand with the slightly rounded corners around it. As with the BlackBerry Z10, this device can be woken up by touching the screen. Just like on the Z10. So you can see how my apps wake up like this, and I'm presented with the app grid, much like the Z10. Scrolling to the left or right, you can see your apps, as well as going to your hub, where all your unified communications are. Going back here, you can open up applications, and you can see those within, within your app grid. And like the Z10, you can minimize those applications just by swiping up on the screen. So again, we're bringing gestures and combining them with the keyboard, but always having the keyboard present. Looking into the hub, where we have all our unified communications, you can still peek to see what other accounts you have here. And again, if I'm over here, I can peek as well, take a look into my hub, the heart of all my communications. Now, in terms of typing as well, an example of typing, you can see here where I've got a message up. I'll go down into the body of the message, and I can type here, and you can see how it's actually correcting. Here at the, oops. Kind of hard to type at this angle, but again, you know, it gives the predictive text that I can put into the message to help it is intelligent, so you can see how here, we're here at the BlackBerry 10. And you can see how it's formulating the words there and doing the predictive text. So BlackBerry 10 launch event. So again, all the components that you've seen in the Z10 combined into a screen that's square, 720 by 720, with the added value of having the keyboard available at all times to enhance typing functionality for those people that really love that physical keyboard. Okay. And you know, the exact uh, DPIs are similar between the two devices. Mm -hmm. I think this is 360 versus 356. But this yes. should offer you a better battery life, right? Yeah. This is a 2100 milliampere battery. Yes. As compared to the 1800 on the... Right. Okay, that's... that's yeah, so you, again, you'd expect some better battery life. Okay, okay. So it's 30%. Thank you so much. Great.